Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video and today we are on the last day of week 2 which means we are on day 7 and after dinner tonight of course that will be our full 2 weeks so thank you for watching, thank you for supporting I am so happy to, um, to share this with you and I hope that you guys are learning as much as I am learning about my gut and healing it we are making some tortillas first of all we have to make the tortillas because i cannot find corn tortillas in our stores here then we have to make the the filling and we have to make the the guacamole so first let's start with our let's start with our tortillas so the tortillas are really simple to make all i do is i just heated some water uh, very hot I got this recipe actually from I think the youtuber she's from India and she goes by the name of skinny recipes I have improvised the recipe a little bit but mostly it comes that the idea comes from her recipes so so she makes flat bread and I'm using the same method to make the tortillas here and usually she said your your stove top the plate should be hot or you can even leave it on but for this one I've done it before and then my my flour actually burnt the bottom of it I rather just keep it hot but not on so I'm going to use four cups of, of flour and if you look at your actually I'm going to use two cups but it will be it will amount to four if you look at this measuring cup here this is actually two cups because there's a measuring line for one cup it's this much so if you fill it up completely I think it's two cups so when I talk about two cups it's basically a whole measuring cup of this I mean four cups then it's those I count as two and then another one and that is what I will be using and then I want to use a pinch of salt which is half a, a teaspoon of salt I will use then I am using some um, baking soda and I also want to use like a teaspoon of baking soda and then and now I'm going to add also baking powder and of that I also want a teaspoon so this is half a teaspoon that's why I added two of these first of all why do I add baking soda and baking powder for when I made the bread the flat bread and seeing that it's gluten free the bread actually does not did not come out soft it would come out so hard and I wouldn't even call it crispy it would just be hard and very difficult to chew and so I spoke to one of my Pakistani friends she usually makes flat bread but with um, gluten flour and she told me that maybe if I add some baking soda baking soda it will soften the bread and so I actually also decided to add baking powder to give the bread a little bit of stuff because there's something um, hot cakes that we make back home in South Africa and we usually use baking powder uh, because this is a rising um, agent right so the bread will rise a little, little. it's actually really nice but with with gluten-free flour it's really difficult to to get the bread actually to rise and then I'm going to use two tablespoons of olive oil oh it's a teaspoon two teaspoons of olive oil and now I'm going to add my water I'm not going to tell you how much water to to add you have to measure with your senses watch what you are doing and pour your water slowly in I think if I have to measure it I would start with a quarter cup 
and as you can see this water is boiling hot maybe two so half a cup it's still dry you just add you don't want this to be too wet so we when you have this consistency now you just want to mix it through to make sure I'm not going to use too much water now I think we need more water so I will just have a little bit more go according to a quarter cup every time if you're unsure and I think now we're getting it to stick together and a little more consistency it's almost like a cookie dough consistency you want as you can see here it's very much like a cookie dough consistency now I'm going to put it on my counter and keep working the mixture through now with my hands and just with the palm of your hands you basically this is the movement that you want so you're going to have it like in a cookie dough consistency and you can see here this is the, the product that you want and it's nice and hot so you want to flour your surface and now what we want to do we want to to make balls seeing that we have this small one let's make it 50 and this I just press with my hand So if you're happy with this size, you can actually just make it your balls 60 grams. And I just put them on foil like this. And this is also how I would store them in the, in the fridge. So, so I think I want to make them smaller now. Okay, I'm making them 60 now, 60 grams. We are at the end of making our tortilla bread, okay? And so, as you can see here, it is, it's between 60 and, this one is 52, but a perfect size is 60 grams. And what you want to do, you want to flour your surface, press it down with your hands, and then you start rolling and after each few rolls you want to turn your tortilla so that it doesn't stick to the surface and don't worry about your edges you can always just take something that's round and make your edges perfect if you want and if your surface is too dry, just put another bit of flour until you are happy with your tortilla. So you can also take, you can take a plate now, you can cut it all around your, the edges, all around the edges. And then you have a beautiful shape. And now I'm maybe going to struggle getting it up. Okay. Can you see? Because I needed to turn it first before I did. But it's okay. Then you transfer it to your foil. Because this is how you're going to store it. And that's it for your bread. And as you can see here. I have all my tortillas on here. I did not perfect all the edges. And these are all going in the freezer now. 
but I will keep two out. So this is what I usually do. Now I would cover that top one as well. And all of these I would now fold the edges of the foil. In this way it is easier to get it out. Then it goes in a large Ziploc bag. Be careful with your handling. And then in the freezer. All right guys, so our um, tortillas are done. We've done that. And so um, that's how I make my tortilla, very simple. And once we cook it, we, you will see the texture is really, really soft. But what I've noticed is that if I, for example, cook one today and leave it for tomorrow, the bread would have hardened by tomorrow. So I would say, Bake off your tortillas the same day as you're going to use it. So first for our filling. So what we need for our filling are as follows. A tablespoon of olive oil, 8 ounces of cod, skinned and cut into half inch pieces. I actually am using some sea bass. I am not using cod. And I basically just shred my, sorry, my sea bass. And it's not 8 ounces. I think it's just maybe 5 ounces or something like that. One teaspoon of grated lime zest, one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of sea salt, one cup of grated cheddar cheese. As you know, I'm lactose intolerant, so I will not be eating the, the cheddar cheese. What I will do is just spread my guacamole on each side of my tortilla and probably add some cream of coconut and then half a cup of fresh cilantro so your cilantro you have to chop all right so let's put it together heat up your pan you need your oil now we're going to add our fish then we're going to add our lemon zest coriander which is half a teaspoon we're also going to need cumin. I'm just going to use half a teaspoon. So that's a lot of coriander that I just put in there. Then we need, I just want a little bit of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon. And that is what we're going to cook together now. I definitely think my, but my coriander is way too much for this mixture. Well, it seems like I'm going to add more fish and I'm turning my heat to medium. So I've added more fish. So I'm probably now on eight ounces of fish because I put too much um, coriander in the, in the mixture that I had by accident. Um, so I decided to just up my fish to eight ounces. So that is good. Now we're going to continue with the next step. So now that is done. Next, I want to make the guacamole because um, I think the, the bread is going to cook very quickly. Half a ripe avocado peeled and pitted, two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro, half a teaspoon of grated lime, lime zest, and half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and half a teaspoon of salt. So as you could, could see, I used a whole avocado instead of half of it simply because I do not have the cheese. So that's our cilantro. I use lime, sorry, um, lemon zest because I don't have lime. And then they say a little bit of cumin half a teaspoon I actually gonna use less than half half a teaspoon but I'm just using an eighth of a teaspoon I am going to add some cream of coconut to the yolk sorry to the um, to the guacamole as well 
I would say I added two tablespoons of guacamole, sorry, of cream of coconut to the um, to the guacamole. So it looks a bit a little bit chunky, but it tastes really nice. I like the taste of it. So let's bake off our tortillas quickly. Gonna need a bit of oil. We are baking off our tortillas right now. Look how beautiful and golden brown it is. So the bigger you want your tortilla, the, the bigger you need your, bo your bowl. So this is 60 grams, 62, 62, 65 grams, the size of the bowl or the weight of the bowl. Um, so if you want a bigger tortilla, of course, you have to make bigger balls. And what will also help stretch your tortilla actually further is your press, right? and it just expands the, the ball to fit the whole um, press. Just half a teaspoon every time you put a new tortilla in, I would say. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you want to make this for a party as, as an appetizer, just make it before you go to the party. I would not suggest making it a day before. But also if you know how to, what to put in your mixture to keep it, to keep the bread actually soft, please let me know in the comments because I would love to make it in advance a day before so that I don't still have to bake off tortillas. So what I do, I spread my guacamole over my tortilla just this is simply to to um, aid as a binder so my fish does not fall out or and then I will also put even more on top of my fish and now our tortilla is ready devoured that's so beautiful it's so soft I know I say beautiful too often adjectives right oops it's so soft, the bread, that it falls apart now. Beautiful. Lovely. Delicious. Delightful. <laughs> I have adjectives. Believe me. So it is really, really delicious. The combination of your cumin, your cilantro, your coriander powder, your lemon zest all those flavors are just exploding in your mouth and so um, it comes together so beautifully I would say for my for my bread I would not say I um, rolled it up out too thinly I would say maybe less of the guacamole as a surface because it makes it heavy the bread heavy and since the bread it's really not the bread but the tortilla is really thinly rolled out um, it just falls apart so I would either thicken my tortilla or I would use less guacamole but I think I would thicken my tortilla because you excuse me usually I have a thicker tortilla and my bread would not fall apart but really really nice try it out and I'm sure you have made tortillas and you've made guacamole but this is for people on a low fiber diet and people who have acid reflux problems as well as IBS problems. Try it out and let me know how it panned out. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.